Typically, a flame sensor is mounted on the last burner or the end of the burner. We want to be careful not to confuse that with the igniter, which is typically mounted on the first burner or beginning of the gas manifold. Once you locate the flame sensor, before we want to remove it, we want to make sure the furnace is powered down for safety. And as you notice, in this furnace, this is the flame sensor. We want to disconnect the flame sensor lead from the 5 16th spade. You'll notice that it's connected with one quarter inch screw holding it to the burner assembly. We're then going to remove the flame sensor screw with a quarter inch nut driver. Please do not use a power tool. Once the screw is removed, it releases the flame sensor. Be careful on this model. The flame sensor rod has a 90 degree bend, so you'll have to twist the flame sensor, pull it out following the path of the bend. Once you have the flame sensor removed, there's another process we have to verify involving the porcelain insulator that is located at the base of the flame sensor. We gotta inspect this porcelain base to make sure there's no cracks, breaks, or interruptions that might delay the process of the flame rectification. Once you verify the porcelain's intact, we're then gonna move our attention to the flame rod, which is the steel material at the end. During operation, this may soot up or begin to collect contaminants that we have to clean off as regular maintenance to a furnace. To do this, you do not wanna use something super abrasive. You wanna use something like a light emery cloth or even a dollar bill to clean this flame sensor effectively. All you do is take the dollar bill, clean the flame sensor itself with a light motion. Once you got all the contaminants and soot and other items off the flame sensor, we wanna make sure that it is clean and then we reinstall it into the furnace. You're just gonna reverse the path that you took to remove it Following the bend, carefully insert it back into the hole, slide it into position, lining up your quarter inch hole, reinserting the quarter inch screw with your nut driver, placing your flame sensor lead back on the spade connection, and that's all it takes.